Good morning, everybody. I'm awake alive, and I just packed Raymond his breakfast. He's on his way out here. I gotta have him clean up the litter box. These guys are awake and alive. They had their breakfast as well. I'm gonna give the girls some scratch because they're free ranging today. And then I gotta go drop him off for work before. You no, know, first we gotta go to his doctor's office, get another FMLA paperwork signed and whatever. And then I gotta drop him off and then come back here on this side of town. I have a doctor's appointment for blast at 10 o'clock. And then after that, my day is pretty much my own so gotta i wanted to go to vegas roots again go pick out a watermelon or two and some tomatoes what else did i needed to do i wanted to go shopping for a few groceries and yeah and look our prodigal our prodigal baby is awoken yay did you clean out that litter box for me what do you think you can clean out that litter box for me thank you just got done paying the rent at Chase and I, it is not, or 1027, let me turn it down, I'm sorry, 1027, and I gotta go to uh, the baby's appointment now. Let's go. As you guys can see, I made it to the doctor's just in time. Gotta give them a sample and then put it in that little box. Love peeing in bottles. Just got out of Whole Foods, bought Raymond some Daya cream cheese. <sighs> got out of the doctor's appointment. Everything is fine. I didn't get a chance to talk to the homie about the uh, the birth plan, but I will next time. I'll see him in two weeks. So those are all my future appointments and up until when baby's born. So, ah! so excited. Cannot turn off the camera. As you guys can see, I'm home now. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. It's 2.03. I went to my mom's house. We're going to go to the Vegas Roots. But it was closed. They're closed on Mondays. So instead I sat around and ate some beans and I was just hanging out. Oh, you can't see them. I was eating some beans and was hanging out over there. But I got really hot and really tired. And I was just, it's just really hot in the living room. And I'm sleepy. And these guys need baths. And I need to pack some more. So I came home. I'm on my way to go pick up Raymond. I felt a little gross earlier. So I laid down in bed for like ever. I haven't cleaned or done anything today yet. Look. Dogs are still dirty, grass floor is still dirty, living room is still dirty, kitchen is still dirty. I am just not in the mood to do much of anything today. I don't feel very well. I have either, it's like heartburn and then I just feel gross and nauseous. So I'm just heading on out to go pick up Mr. Black. Just got here to Raymond's work and I was talking to Blast and I'm in the mood for two things, two very kind of opposite things, which uh. I am in the mood for a frozen lemonade and I was telling Blast that the only place that I can think of over the top of my head that we can get a frozen lemonade is hot dog on a stick. And the second thing I'm in the mood for is a huge salad for dinner. Like I mean huge, like freaking huge. Like I want avocados in it and cucumbers and carrots and lettuce and tomatoes and cilantro and just lime and a little bit of salt and a bunch of pepper. Like that sounds so good right now and uh just waiting out here for raymond to come outside on friday we sign for the house or more so he signs for the house so that should be exciting we'll have a house and like i was telling blast raymond and i have worked very hard for this for a very long time for as long as i think i can remember me and him have always been very strange even from the beginning we right at once set out what we wanted from our lives in our lives from our lives what we wanted to do with our lives I guess you can say and children was always one of them and having a house and just I don't know just making our own little family and ever since then even from the beginning it's always been like working up his credit score or doing things that would help better our family and to think that it's finally actually all happening is amazing that's so cool I can't believe it like I'm living like everything in my life is going exactly like I wanted to like everything is falling into place I'm gonna have my baby and I'm gonna have my new house and my baby will be maybe maybe he'll be born there no I don't know he'll be labored there that's for sure mommy will go into labor with him or her them <sighs> at the house and then I'll go to the hospital then I get to bring back home our little baby to their house and that's where they'll grow up and that's where you know 
and their little friends will come over. That's where they'll remember their holidays being held at. And I don't know, it just always seems so sweet. It's always just seemed so very sweet to me. And it's actually all finally happening. So it's 5.52, we're waiting out here. I told Blast that I might try to convince Daddy to go to the mall because it's the only hot dog on a stick I know of. Well, that's not true. I know of a standalone hot dog on a stick, which I think is weird. I'm like, hot dogs on a stick, on, like, in the by themselves, are actually restaurants that can like exist outside of a mall establishment. Like, that's strange, but whatever, because normally I only receive them in the mall. But I know of one here in town, but it's on like Sahara and something. Like, honestly, like if I can convince them to go to Hot Dog on a Stick, we're better off going to the one in the mall because that way I can also go shopping for one of my cousins in Mexico. I have a very favorite cousin. And I don't know, I like talking to her. I'm her little Spanish, not Spanish teacher, I can't be. I'm her English teacher. So that's fun and it was her birthday recently and as you guys know, my grandparents are still here. So I'm like, what better way to like, but to like buy her a gift while they're here so they can take it to her and I don't have to worry about postage or getting lost or, you know, and so I wanna go to the mall and go get her something or like a few things, so that would be fun. So if I can give him to Raymond to do that, that's great. If not, I think I might go by myself again. I wasn't saying two weeks time, but they'll be gone in two weeks time. Looks like I'm borrowing the car again or asking for a ride to the mall. But what was I gonna say? Um, No, yeah, so if I can convince him to go to hot dog on a stick in the mall, that'd be uh, cutting two carrots with one knife. And if not, I'm going to for sure make him go to Smith's so I can buy all my like produce. Like I said, I was trying to go to Vegas Roots, but apparently they don't. They close on Mondays or closed on Mondays. So tomorrow I'll try again. So I didn't get any watermelon. I didn't get any tomatoes. I didn't get anything of anything. And I was very upset because I was really looking forward to that watermelon. And guess what? Today's like National Watermelon Day. Like that's weird. I didn't even know. Like I swear everything has a day now. When is it going to be National Alley Day? I told Raymond about what I wanted to do. And what did you tell me? I asked her if she brought me a bagel. <laughs> yeah, because we talked about it a few hours ago. That At my lunch. Actually, it wasn't even three hours ago. Not even three hours. Oh, man, dude. I have, I'm have i slip and I have no excuse. And legitimately, you guys, I forgot. Like, 100%. He's like, where's my bagel? And I like kind of looked. And then I was like, oh, my God, the bagel. And then he's like, no, then we can't go. <laughs> and I want to die because that's the, I'm sure that's that was the one thing getting him through this the rest of his day was, was. that bagel. I'm so... Just knowing that there was going to be a bagel waiting for me. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Like nice little layer of cream cheese. I'm so sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I want to die, you guys. Like legitimately. Oh my gosh. Poor Raymond and his bagel. His lack of bagels. Raymond is the best husband ever. Not only did he get me my frozen lemonade, but he also got me French fries and a veggie dog on a bun. Because our veggie d dogs on a stick aren't vegan, right? The batter's not vegan. No, but their their buns are vegan. So. Yay! Thing, and I didn't even get him a, a bagel. And like, oh my God, could you imagine what he would have bought me if I did? This is the type of trophy Raymond wants. It's like a backpack, you guys. But what did you say? It doesn't hold anything. Barely any. Oh wow! Yeah, it's like a piece of paper. That's literally a fashion statement, like legit. They'll be like, put that away. What is that? That's what's up. And you're okay with that, right? Yeah. And the tiger, I know for sure, is okay with it. The tiger would eat me. There you go. And rightfully so. What am I dumb butt doing that over there trying to be friends with him? Exactly. Something came for us in the mail. What is it? It's 123 pounds. Oh, Lord. You don't be able to lift it? Ugh. Well, don't hurt yourself too much. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just scoot it in and, like, walk it over here. That's what I have to do with the V-Dog. I don't know how somebody picked this up. All right, guys. Well, we are packing. This is stuff that Ollie already had packed, but she hadn't taped it. So I am taping it, and she didn't write the name of where it goes. So obviously, baby room. So because we act we're actually like paying movers, so that way they will know where to put the boxes. So yeah, but we're going to bed, and this is what we're gonna do until then, and hopefully it's soon because it's 11:30 at night. 
and I have work and a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So yeah, if you liked today's video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.